Hello everyone and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. In this video, I'm going to touch base upon Cisco NBAR, which is the underlying uh, technology for SDAVC. Uh, this is the first video of our SDAVC series. Uh, very quickly, I just want to touch base upon NBAR, which is very old protocol, uh, but getting more and more traction because of the new features like application experience, easy QoS performance mo uh, monitors, uh, everything is served via NBAR in underlay. So what is NBAR? NBAR, uh, as you can read on my screen, NBAR is an intelligent classification engine in Cisco IS software. So it comes as default, uh, which can recognize wide variety of applications, including web-based and client-server pro application. So what, what is about web-based? So if it recognize an ESTTP practice uh, packet, it can actually do a deep packet inspection and tell you if it is a business application or it is a web-based application like a Facebook or U a YouTube. For client server application, it rely on the protocol port numbers. So well-known port number, uh, looking at the well-known port number, it actually maps uh, the applications. Uh, how Envar works? Envar uh, works as a uh, PDLs, uh, so uh, protocol descriptive language, uh, uh, which are, which are loaded into uh, Cisco IS software as uh, PDLM uh, PDL modules. Uh, these PDL modules, Cisco on time on time keep on uh, updating these PDLMs so that the new applications, uh, new uh, new kind of traffic can be recognized. Uh, configuring um, NBAR is pretty simple. Uh, you en enable it globally and then configure it per interface. So it, 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 it once you enable it globally, it doesn't, doesn't enable on all interface and start classifying the traffic. You have to enable it on per interface basis so, uh, so that it can start looking in the, uh, into the received traffic. Um, verification, quite easy. Um, Let's show IP and bar protocol uh, active. It will tell you what protocol pack is active. Uh, resources, this is one of the important thing because uh, NBAR does use some uh, resources from um, uh, CPU and memory. So you need to uh, always align or be in the guardrail of those boundary. And then show IP NBAR protocol discovery. Um, sorry for the uh, typo in here. It should be top N, uh, just like a Unix command. So it will give you top five uh, N, uh, NBAR application per interface basis. Now let's go ahead and watch this on uh, our router. So I have a router, this is Cisco ISR. All right, so run interface click zero one. Uh, this is one of the interface which is um, going to my second router and I have enabled IP and NBAR protocol discovery here uh, for IPv4 pack, uh, packets. Uh, let's verify. So I would like to see show IP NBAR protocol pack active. So you can see that 40 version 41 is installed and NBAR engine version is uh, 36. So Cisco time on time keep on releasing PDLMs and these uh, versions are tied to the PDLM. Uh, if I, instead of active, if I do a question mark, you can see what are the loaded uh, or any inactive. You can actually load it in boot flash, but you activate it at later point of time. So you can do that as well. Uh, now look at the show IP in bar resources. Flow, okay, and then I think that's it. So it says, what are the maximum number of sessions allowed? Maximum mem memory use, it again depend on the uh, hardware and what how many active sessions you have. So you can see that I have 100,000 uh, of session allowed, but I have, uh, today I have only six sessions. What, how much memory I'm using and uh, peak memory I use. Now let's look at the actual uh, applications. Show IP number protocol discovery. So this is the uh, uh, thing you would like to use. You can check per interface basis, per protocol wise, or just like this. It will give you pl plethora of information. I uh, like to do it something in Unix way, uh, say top N and top one. 
Wi-Fi, just top one. So it tell me like what is my um, top application per interface basis. So you can see that I have it on enable it on Gigi interface. You can enable it on virtual interfaces like SVIs, VLAN, and uh, it will tell you what applications. Um, so SSH uh, is the uh, because nothing much going in here. Um, so let me get rid of um, top end and look at my physical interface. I'm sure I have some BGP and some unknown traffic also going on, which I, I'm simulating some traffic, UDP traffic. So, uh, and those are um, on reserve port number. That's why it's classified as unknown. So this is very easy. Uh, uh, with, uh, without much resources used, you can see what is going into your router. And uh, I, in upcoming video, I will show you how SDAVC can stitch uh, this view of multiple router into a single platform. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for joining.